The tessellate tools are simply tools that enable you to slice your geometry up to your choosing. Now, there's a variety of tessellation tools within Hexagon that allow you to do this. So I'm going to take you through these now. The tessellation tools can be found in the vertex modeling tab and they're next in line to the edge tools just here. Again, you notice that we've got this little tiny triangle which indicates that there's more sub tools within this group. So you can see there's a variety of these. We're going to start with the top one. And what we can do with this is we can simply choose where on our model we wish to actually start to slice from. So if I just get a little bit closer here, you can see here that I've got this yellow little box. And it automatically lock to the actual vertices and the edges. Now, if you want to be very, very precise with your locking, you can press the shift key and you notice that it will turn red. This indicates that you've locked onto a vertice. In addition to this, you can actually shift near an edge and it will also lock absolutely perfectly between an edge. When you finally got where you want to start from, you just simply click once and then you've got this yellow line which is basically waiting for you to click again on the geometry. Now you can actually lock to another vertice. You can see this green little tiny box indicates this. You can lock in the center of another edge. And in this particular tool, you can click anywhere within the polygon as well. Now you notice to the properties to the right hand side here that you can actually change your tessellation types. But we're going to go through these individually anyway. For now we're going to abort this. We're going to go to the next one now. This one exactly the same as before. We can lock to the vertices and edges. But the difference is it won't allow us to actually do any slicing in between the actual polygon face itself. We can only lock to edges and other vertices. Moving to the next one down. This one is called Tessellate by Slice and it literally slices from wherever you click on an edge. This is very handy for creating additional edge loops. The next tessellation tools apply an automatic slice in different forms. As an example, the first one here will divide any selected face into quads. So as an example, if we were to select this face, it would divide it into four equal quad polygons. If you select multiple faces, it will still treat them as individual faces and divide each polygon by four. If you were to select all of the faces, Control and A, it will divide the whole cube by four for each individual face that we've selected. In addition to this, we can actually divide it into triangles. And also into diamonds. And it applies this on a per polygon basis like the other two. 